Hello everyone. Let's um, provide a solution to this problem very quickly. We have square root of 2x over 2x equal to 3. Now, somebody will be tempted to cancel 2x and 2x, right? But that is not correct. So what we are to do is to cross multiply because this is over 1 root x, root 2x times 1 will give root 2x. And this is equal to 3 multiplied by 2x. This way we are going to have root 2x, root 2x equal to 6x. Now what do we do from here? We are going to square both sides. So we have square root of 2x, we'll square this, equal to 6x then the whole of this is squared. From here, this and this will cancel, so 2x will be equal to 6x multiplied by 6x. Now, 2x from here is equal to 36x um, squared. Right? Now, this also means that 36x squared is equal to 2x. And from here, we can bring everything to the same side. 36x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. So that 2x is going to be the common factor. So 2x will come out. And then 2 into 36 will give 18, right? Then x has come out. 1x will be left. Minus 2x divided by 2x is 1. Then the whole of this is equal to 0. From here, 2x is equal to 0 or 18x minus 1 is equal to 0. 2x over 2 is equal to 0 over 2 or 18x is equal to 1. Now this and this will go so that x is equal to 0 over 2, and that is the same thing as 0. Or on this side, we have 18x divided by 18 equal to 1 divided by 18. This and this will cancel now, so that x here remains 0. Or on the other side, x will be equal to 1 over 18. So you can put this value of x into the equation and see if it's going to satisfy. Now, what is the equation? We got square root of um, 2x over 2x equal to 3. Let's put it back. We're going to have square root of 2 into 1 over 18. Right? Because x is now um, 1 over 18. This is over 2 into 1 over 18. So the question is, will this give us 1? Let's continue. Okay, so we are going to have square root of 2 into 18 is 9. So we have 1 over 9. All over 2 into 18 is still 1 over 9. Right? So from here, we have 1 over 3. Because square root of 1 is 1, square root of 9 is 3. Then divided by 1 over 9, we have 1 over 9. Turn this to multiplication as we have 1 over 3 multiplied by 9 over 1. And this way, we are going to have 9 over 3. Because 1 times 9 is 9, 3 times 1 is 3. And at the end of the day, we have 3. I remember it is 3 that we had on the right the the right hand side right okay we're having the same three so this means that our x to be equal to 1 over 18 is very satisfying thank you for watching